Well, if you believe that the world's getting better and better, what rock have you been living under the past three, four years? It's not. <laughs> it's getting worse and worse, no doubt. Uh, it would be almost laughable to suppose that we are, you know, ushering in some sort of kingdom, as the charismatic crowd says with their seven mountain mandate, that things are just going to get better and better and better, and there's just sweeping revival coming, and everything's just going to be awesome here in the very near future. Well, I'm still waiting. I'm still waiting on all that because it's not happened and it's not happening. And uh, I want to introduce our crowd to David Cloud. And this is uh, this is an article he put out today. I've read David Cloud for years. I really like his stuff. Um, Way of Life Literature. And go to wayoflife.org and read all kinds of good stuff. He's got commentaries on Romans. He's got books on Stephen Anderson. All kinds of good stuff there. And um, <clears throat> and he put out a good article uh, just today. And I really, I really appreciate this article. What can we do in the face of growing anarchy? And, um, and I'm going to just read some of this to you. Uh, what can God's people do in this present world in the midst of lawlessness and apostasy in the face of growing totalitarianism, speech control, and cancel culture, the licentious pop culture, big tech, Marxism, critical race theory, etc.? God's people do not yet rule the earth, but they aren't powerless by any means. The following are the things God has instructed his people to be occupied with in this present world. Uh, these things require a great deal of time and focus to accomplish, and if we will do that, God, what God has told us to do, and seek those things which in, uh, with increasing perfection before him instead of following the ways and thinking of the world around us we will be characterized by such things as fretting hand wringing worrying hopelessness fear politicking covetousness and pleasure seeking and so he he gives a list of several things here you can do uh, in the li- in the face of all this growing anarchy. And by the way, they're they're getting ready to have a big powwow over there in Eastern Europe, and and things are just not looking that great. But then again, I want to reiterate uh, what we said on our channel: things are looking really good because things are looking really bad. And I want to just go through this. Number one, make sure you're saved. Are, are you born again? Are you truly born again? He even quotes 2 Timothy 3, 5, having a form of godliness but denying the power thereof from such turn away. And so there is a crowd out there that's religious, but they're not saved. He says, don't be surprised at the growing lack or growing wickedness and apostasy. Boy, it's getting worse and worse out there. And uh, I, I just have, have found it to be so true. We're dealing with all that. I've got so much material to cover. It is, I, I'm not going to slow down anytime soon. Um, it even says here, 2 Peter 3, 4, knowing this uh, first, that there shall come in the last days scoffers walking after their own lust and saying, where is the promise of his coming? And since the fathers fell asleep, all all things continue as they were from the beginning of the creation. So, don't, you know, there's going to be a, a rise of wickedness and apostasy. Uh, you know, there's been so many Christian artists in the Christian music industry that have come out and say, you know, I, I'm not a Christian anymore. I'm leaving my wife and, you know, marrying a man. And just that, that's happening, stuff like that. Uh, number two, it's, or number three, I guess, here says, Don't fret. Uh, fret not thyself uh, because of evil men. Neither be thou envious of the wicked. That's Proverbs 24, 19. I love it. He even says here, have a biblically educated, settled conviction that God is on the throne and the times are in his hand. I love, I love that. That is amazing. That is so true. Uh, it says here in Psalm 29, 10, the Lord sitteth upon the flood. Yea, the Lord sitteth king forever. So everything that happens, whether, you know, the grocery stores run out of, out of chicken or if, uh, the gas pumps start making $6 a gallon gas, like they are in California, uh, don't worry. God, God knows God sees and God cares. It says here, Romans 13, 1, there is no power but of God. So everybody who's in charge right now, the Lord has allowed them to be there to bring forth his all-knowing, all-powerful purpose. And then Romans 8, 28 is a good one. And we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are called according to his purpose. So we know that, uh, that God is on the throne. And the times are in his hand. I like that. Uh, be a mature, skillful Bible student. I'm going to tell you this right out. You need to know the Word of God. Because if you don't, you're going to be subject to every wind of doctrine uh, that is out there. And people are getting swept away. I mean, I mean, I remember seeing something like Dutch Sheets was talking about all this nonsense about Trump's going to win and all just, and, and, and people are just falling for that right and left. It's like, people are just going, you're not settled. You're, you're being blown away with every wind of doctrine and all kinds of dumb stuff that's out there. And really you don't need to know what the, what the next hot rod preacher says. You just need to know what the Bible says and that'll settle you and, and give you a, a man. It'll help you tremendously. And, um, and it says right here, study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. That's 
that's what you need. You need to know the Bible because, as we say on our channel many times, doctrine matters, baby. You better get to know the Bible and let the Bible get in your mind. He says here, be spiritually discerning, testing everything by God's Word. Uh, 1 Thessalonians 5.21 says, prove all things, hold fast that which is good. You know, I uh, th there's a lot of people out there who say, well, you believe this and 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 and." One person messaged me a while back and said, you know, Spencer, I don't agree with you on everything, but you do have Bible for what you believe. And I'm, I'm sitting there thinking, you know, shouldn't we all, shouldn't we all have Bible for what we believe? You believe something about God, then, hey, show me chapter and verse and all that stuff, man. You got to have uh, some Bible backing if you're going to say certain things. And uh, he even says here, focus on your heavenly citizenship and live as a pilgrim. You know, I'm an American. I was born in America, born in South Georgia, raised in Atlanta. I, I'm a I'm a southern southerner, and uh, <laughs> us southerners bless our hearts. We're 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 not dumb people. We're just really smart at things nobody cares about. <laughs> Uh, but he says, focus on your heavenly citizenship. And I, I, I think that's good. But, you know, I'm going to be a Christian. This isn't, this isn't going to be my final home. Uh, he says here, dearly beloved, I beseech you as strangers and pilgrims that stain from fleshly lust uh, that war against the soul. Strangers and pilgrims. You know, I don't know. I get the idea. I get the feeling lots of times that this, this world is not my home. I just don't fit in anywhere. And, uh, and you're, you're supposed to feel like that if you're a Christian. You're not supposed to fit in with this old wicked world. He even says this. Live holy Christian lives to the glory of Jesus Christ. I like that right there. Um, Romans 13, verse 10 through 14. And knowing the time, it is high time to wake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than when we believed. The night is far spent. The day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness. Let us put on the armor of light. Let us walk honestly as in the day, not in rioting and drunkenness, not in chambering and wantonness, not in strife and envying. Put ye on the Lord Jesus Christ and make not provision for the flesh to fulfill the lust thereof. I love it. Uh, build real New Testament churches. I love it. That That's what we need to do. By the way, if you're out there and, and you just let the internet pastor you and you don't have a, a New Testament church with believers that you can fellowship with, uh, use our website, independentbaptist.church, and you can you can be a part of that and get you in, into a good church there. And uh, it says here, uh, 1 Timothy 3.15, But if I tarry long, thou mayest know how thou oughtest behave thyself in the house of God, which is the church of the living God, the pillar and ground of the truth. Absolutely. He even says here, Build godly Christian homes. I like that. I like that. And uh, a lot of good verses there. We won't go into that too deep. But he says, Separate from the world. And uh, Psalm 1, 1, Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. We used that verse when we preached on the Enneagram uh, the, the other day. Man, that was, uh, that was a great verse. But, you know, don't, don't take the world's advice. Take God's advice. Use the Bible. Live your life according to what the Bible says, not what Fox News or CNN says. And uh, do that. Fulfill Christ's great commission. Uh, we ought to be evangelizing, keeping, getting people saved, Matthew 28 and uh, all powers given me heaven and earth. Uh, he said, Go ye therefore, teaching all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost, teaching them to deserve all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo, I am all, I'm with you always, even to the end of the world. Amen. And uh, that's for sure. He said, be law keepers and supporter of law enforcers. Now, um, here's the deal. The, the thing with all that is that you're going to start seeing some uh, law enforcement go crazy. Like uh, that whole deal in Canada where they, they took them horses and stomped all over that woman in that scooter. That was that was deplorable and uh, law enforcement doesn't always get it right uh, but there are good policemen out there and we've done some videos on Romans 13 years ago uh, actually during the, uh, the pandemic and uh, I'm going to tell you right now uh, when law enforcement is doing right they need to be supported but sometimes they don't always get it right they need to be uh, they need to be chastised or not not really chastised what's the word I'm looking for uh, they need to be held accountable when they don't get it right that's for sure endure suffering and persecution in a godly manner for Christ's sake and um even says here, First Peter chapter three verses uh, fourteen. Uh, but if you suffer for righteousness' sake, happy are you, and be not afraid of their terror, neither be troubled. You know, being doing the right thing in a wicked age is going to cost you. It's going to cost you tremendously. You're going to have to face some ugly persecution, but. 
you know, this is this is how the world works right now. And but Jesus is going to turn it all around. Be spiritually revived and ready for the shout. Amen. <laughs> I love it. Oh boy. And uh, it says here, James five eight b. Ye also patient, establish your hearts for the coming of the Lord draweth nigh. Grudge not one against another, brethren, lest you be condemned. Behold, the judge standeth at the door. I like that right there. He says, be a student of the Bible prophecy so you have a proper worldview and good understanding of the times. Uh, you know, a lot of people out there think that we're going to go through the tribulation period as as Christians, and I never have thought that, not in my Bible study. And so they start, you know, what they're doing is they're actually out there prepping uh, for the tribulation period that we're getting ready, to, that we're going through, because they really think they're going through it. I'm going to tell you right now that uh, that all those beans and rice that you got stored in your underground bunker ain't going to do a whole lot good when the earthquake comes and all the planets, all, all the continents shift. And uh, you, you, you're probably not going to be able to do much with all that and survive as long as you think. That's what I want you to know. So I'm not looking for an antichrist. I'm looking for a shout, baby. Eva says this, pray, pray, pray. Romans 12, 12. Continuing instant in prayer. Colossians 4, 2. Continue in prayer and watch in the same with thanksgiving. 1 Thessalonians 5, 17. Pray without ceasing. I think that's good advice, y'all. And so this is uh, this is David Cloud, Way of Life Literature. I recommend them. Go check them out. they got a lot of good free books for you guys, and uh, you'll enjoy all that. So, hey, guys, we love you very much. If you're not subscribed to this channel, uh, hit that subscribe button below. That uh, There's a red button below that says subscribe. That means you're not subscribed. About uh, I think we're about 40% of people who watch our channel are not subscribed to our channel. So go ahead and so hit that subscribe button, and we certainly would appreciate that. Be, get, get, uh, keep you up to date on all the things that are going on in this crazy old world. We're going to try to help you and bless you as far as all that goes. And I appreciate you very much. If this video was helpful for you, hit the like button, and uh, that'll just help us. And uh, we appreciate all you guys. And if you want to support this channel monthly, uh, we've got some great content uh, that we're putting out for our channel members and you can support this channel for as little as $1.99 a month. Hit that join button below on a desktop computer or whatever you have to do and that'll be great. We certainly do appreciate you guys and we hope that you all have a great day. Don't be, don't be fretful. Be hopeful. Things are looking really good because things are looking really bad. <laughs> I love it. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We love you guys. We'll see you very soon.